I remember seven years ago when we were thinking about what we can do to connect with our community. And there was an Aboriginal Council meeting and we were talking about, okay, but well, why not try something innovative? When we thought, hey, let's canoe through the communities, right? A battle of Fish Creek and all that, then get to the top. For, uh, for the Métis, the 125th is a really important year. Uh, it's been 125 years since the resistance out of Batoche in 1885 and, and so throughout uh, North America uh, the Métis people are, are celebrating, not uh, remembering the tragedy that happened but more importantly our survival as a nation and as a people. So this year is a year for us where we're looking at reconciliation and commemoration and celebration. The introduction of Aboriginal councils, circles for decision making and discussion, consensus decision making models, elders to begin and end our gatherings, this has changed QP and in my view changed QP for the better. I'm going to put that out there first and foremost that QP Saskatchewan is a fun group of people to, to be doing business with. If we're able to demonstrate that we have a capacity to meet with people and, and even do business with people outside of a conference hall or meeting room, then I think we've done a good thing. This is all about relationships. Uh, relationships with people and relationships with nature and relationships with the Métis culture. I want to welcome all of you to Gabriel's Crossing. This was the, the homestead of, of Gabriel Dumont. It was his river lot. And next door in that area was where he had his ferry. He came here in 1878. So after the battle, his house was burned down, as was all of the, the buildings in Batoche. Everything was burned down and looted by the by Middle East soldiers. Riel said before he died, my people will sleep for a hundred years and it'll be the artists that'll, that will lead them, bring their spirits back. And we've seen that happen in the last 25 years, especially. Save all your better steps for later. I will. Heel. Heel. Toe. Toe. One, two, three. You know what I mean? Toe. One, two, three. One, two, now we're going to go up to the and sample some food and have a little bit of a ceremony. It's great. What we need to see perhaps is more demonstrations like this, where we see leadership walking the walk. Oh, I think it was right on, and particularly in terms of uh, us trying to make sure that there's uh, job opportunities and the youth. They're our future, like a, a lot of us are, are leaving. So it's really, really important that the young people step forward and, and start getting involved. In partnership of memorandum of understanding between the Canadian Union Public Employees and its Saskatchewan Division. Give the group a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Our future here is going to be Aboriginal people. If we don't start doing anything, we're going to run the risk of having the same unemployment levels, the same social conditions that that community has always faced. What's going to be hard is the implementation and make this work. It's to actually create those jobs, to do the follow-up work. Short answer, time for action. It is about social justice. It's about making sure everybody gets a fair shake, gets a fair chance. That's one of the real strengths of, of this partnership is uh, working together to make sure that uh, nobody's left behind. And if we achieve our end goal, a truly representative workforce in Canada, Canadian society will be better for it as well. Solidarity. Oh.